Okay, so the the third stage with our orthographic drawing um, is to put the um, dimensions on the sheet, the sizes of the of the, um, the component. So we've got to put it back in the, the drawing board first of all. So put it underneath the uh, clip at the side and at the end here, and then put your T square just as last time. Put your T square on the uh, on the board and check that you've got the drawing lined up accurately. So that side, that right hand side has got to go down a touch. The drawing must be lined up with the top of the T-square. Okay. So what we need to do now <coughs> is put our dimension lines on. Now when you dimension or put your size, sizes on you always measure from the same edge. So start off about 30 or 40 millimeters above the top of the top drawing the top of the plan view and um, draw a faint dimension line like that and then you put uh, you need to mark in from this left hand side you need to mark on the position of this line so about 15 12 50 millimeters down line across there and then these other lines And the idea is that you measure from the same end all the time. That's not quite right, is it? I need to go just to this one. Right, now you need to show your dimension lines. They don't quite touch the object. They go not too heavy. They should be slightly fainter than the line the outline of your of your drawing and just above and not quite touching it just above the um, the dimension line itself now we need to put arrows on there to show the extent of the lines that we're, that we're talking about and so we'll just do a very neat pointed arrowhead on each end and then we need to print um, the the sizes on I can't remember what they were I think 195 at the top so keep your printing about six millimeters tall One is one seven nine. Oh, that one was one hundred and ten. I remember that one. That was ninety, and that was thirty two. And then basically you do the same for the other views. This time you put the height. Um, you could probably put it in here, something like this, uh, measuring up from the bottom in each case. So we would have the height of that. Uh, let's put it perhaps put it on the end here. That might make it clearer. Here, each one of those lines you need to mark the the height, and then you put your arrows on. Turn it on its side so they're all read from the same direction. So it's 10, that was 10. That one I think was uh, 15. That middle one was 20. And that was 32. And then with your T square, put the other lines. And once again, they don't quite touch the object. Uh, and 
the only dimension that's not on there is the, the width. So we'll put that one on just below. dimension lines don't quite touch the object. Whoops. Now most um, drawings have a board around them, so approximately 10 millimeters from the edge put a border around. You won't better draw it over that clip, so just ignore that. And <coughs> then down the sides, do it with your set square. Right, that finishes your drawing. Dimension lines so that you could make it from this drawing. All the lengths, all from the same end, the heights, the width.